What is up, everyone? Before we get started on this week's market review and projections, I just want to say click that link in the description and um, click that first link. We'll get you an uh, invite to the Discord. We'll get you in the Discord. There's three different versions of the Discord. There's free, uh, mentee, and inner circle. So you get to choose what you want, but it is free to join. So click that link. We'll send you the invite. And we're also coming out with the five day traders boot camp. And it's going to be focusing on price action and the flow of the market. So click that link below and get in on that list. And when it's live, we'll email it to you in five consecutive days. It's going to be great. Comes with the worksheet, green shot examples, and all that stuff. So it's going to be a great free five day boot camp, as well as that Discord. There's three different levels. So let's see you on the inside and connect and dive deeper in forex and futures and just trading investing and mindset in general so let's get into it so this is what we had last week right and i was seeing how this kind of took a little bit of liquidity but we kept running my overall bias was that we go up into this fair value gap and even the four hour order block and fair value gap, right? Forex, I wasn't really paying attention, but it did start running down. I didn't take any trades. Um, so that's where we were last week. Let's jump into this week and set up the projections for this week. So let's go do the daily comparison. So price did rally up, rally up, rally up. We are now at the top of these bodies where the other two filled in the fair value gap. This one's almost there. So I'm thinking, are we going to continue the bullish run? Or are we just going to go up above these wicks, sweep liquidity, and then come back down into this range, right? So I'm going to take these off, and I am going to mark up this order block. That would be somewhere... I think price could go. Now this one already hit it and then rallied up. This one as well hit it. So there's only this one that could bring the market down. And then if it comes down into this area, maybe these just sweep liquidity and that's the divergence we needed to uh, carry on. So if we do keep going up though, these equal highs, I'll mark up real quick. So we have these relative equal highs on here. This already took liquidity, so it would be coming up into this fair value gap. This one already took, um, but they are relative equal highs as well. So on both these pairs, we have relative equal highs, and on this one we have a barely tapped it so i would like to see it come back up to the 50 percent. so if we're going to continue driving higher i would like these relatively equal highs taken out and this fair value got filled and then maybe we shift down to this order block so i'm going to take the order block off since these have three objectives we could all hit on the buy side to our weekly thing and if you're in the discord on the inner circle member we will give you all these Notion templates so you could set up your Notion for weekly projections, daily trading, and back testing. So you'll get access to all these templates so you could set up your Notion as is. But if you don't want to use Notion or you just want to create your own, um, it's pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of setup work. Or if you're using like an Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheets, you just got to set it up and then uh, just keep creating copies and you're good to go. All right. So S. SP 500 and the Dow has relative equal highs and we're looking to either be swept or ran. Uh, and then the NAS, that same target on the, the premium side of the market is a fair value gap and it, uh, it touched it, but we would like to see at least 50% or it ran through either one perfect for our bias. So now we're going to go to the ES and do the daily and four hour for the week and figure out is that lining up with the higher time frame of the three together. So I do have my trades on here. Uh, I did take a sell, but Friday did run up. So got my low hanging fruit, did not get the full objective. And then 
I took another trade. <clears throat> so it was actually Thursday. Uh, Thursday CPI. After that price, little whip whop whipped around. <clears throat> we got in on uh, the sell. So once we went back above here, there was a, a setup in this area, but I did not take it because I get to the charts at around 6.30. So once price went down, uh, it came up into the fair value gap, missed it. So I just got in as price started rejecting it. And then we got the low hanging fruit, got out at the bottom of this. And um, original target was down here, but didn't quite get down to there. We could have done like 50% of the wick, but just closed out. I had to get ready and leave. So close the trade. And for Friday, I'm not sure if I documented it fully. Oh, yeah, I did. Just on uh, trading view. Um, I had to leave. So I did close it. Profits lower than the low hanging fruit. Um, but it's fine. Got the profits here. Um, price started going back on me and I was like, okay, let's just get out of this. I don't want to get ready and have price run. It's Friday. We already had big moves. So I wanted to get out and that's it. We got out. It's kind of my strategy when I do funding challenges. I build up a little bit of padding and then I'll start opening up the wrist 0.5, 1%. If I tend to do that 1% risk right off the bat and I get a loss. It just messes me up mentally for the future of the challenge. So I always like that little bit of cushion first and then we'll increase the trade. So next week we'll, uh, we'll do 0.5% and start running the count up. All right. So back to the projections, we fill that fair value gap that we pointed out. It's Monday. Just run, 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 run. Right. Uh, I still think we're going up higher. I think we're going to get to this four hour order block or we're going to sweep relative equals. So let's clear the drawing indicators. I think I was back testing on this. No. Okay. Uh, remove drawings. So first thing we're going to mark up is these equal highs. Looking to run these. It did grab liquidity a little bit, but we have this zone as well with this gap. So that's something we're going to want to mark up. Put that liquidity void up there. And uh, if we do come down, but it already has been, you know, kind of supporting this fair value gap as it passed through. So I'm, I'm thinking we're going to get a good run next week. And for the four hour. Look at that. We're almost there. And if we're only going to hit the order block. We got it right there. Now, if we go to the downside, this fair value gap got touched already, and then we went off. This one got hit, went off. Really nothing in here. There is this little one, so maybe beginning of the week, we do something like this. Come in here or even into the order block. And then continue up. Something like that is what I'm looking for next week. Look at the four hour time frame. Price may drop early week, then continue and reach its into the four hour for value gap slash order block. So pretty much same objectives. Still bullish, a little bit of bearish move, and then we'll run up. Now, it could be the opposite. We could run up and then come back down into here. But that those areas you want to focus on and see how price is reacting. Okay, let's move on to EU. Like I said, I'm still not quite ready to trade this. But it went to where we thought it was going to go, right? Got that order block filled. Still think... The dollar could drop a little bit before we reverse. So I'm just waiting that out. I'm not going to change anything. If it does go above this order block, though, 
Um, there's some gaps up here, so maybe we run even higher into this area. There's even gaps up here, so the price delivery on the euro is a little spotty. A lot of gaps to be ran back into, whereas the dollar is a little more flows without a bunch of gaps. So maybe we come up into those gaps, fill those up, and that will allow the dollar to come down in this order block, or at least take out this liquidity. Either liquidity, order block, or both. That's what we're looking for, and then we'll get that reversal, hopefully. That's kind of what I'm aiming for, so let's add this in. All right, so the euro hit at the objective we were looking for. It may continue to the liquidity void and give the US dollar, uh, USD, uh, give time for the USD to reach the objectives down here before reversing. So that's what we're looking for next week. And I think once we get that reversal, it'll put us into late January, February time. And that's usually when the currency kind of starts trading how I like it, a little more consistent and not so much chop back and forth. But the world's in a crazy place, so really, I don't know. I could be staying out of futures for longer, but expect me to actually be more active around that time. But let's get the uh, the EU daily and four hour real quick and wrap up this week's market review and projections. All right, so we're almost to that order block. Well, oh, turning the ranges off. So we're almost to that order block and fair value gap that I was looking at. I believe it was the four hour. I mean, it's the daily, daily uh, order block. I believe it's the four hour fair value gap. So I would like price to come up here, which will keep in line with our analysis for the euro to keep going up where the dollar keeps going down. This will let this run. So early week, I'm saying we go up and then we could drop down into this area. And then this could set us up for the downside and then come down into this range. I'm not saying it's going to do it all in one week, but something like that. So let's take a picture of this and then let's do the four hour real quick while we're here just so we could wrap up the charts. Four hours looking like, look at that, filled that gap up completely with that wick and it's coming back down into it. Kind of testing right here. So rally up or do we come down into this area? So high, daily time frame. we're looking at these objectives. For the four hour, could come down here, back up, then down. So keep an eye on these. Let price tell you where it's going. Just because we wrote these doesn't mean we have to force price to these, these areas. Um, price will most likely go to these areas, but at what order and how, we need price to let us know so we could capitalize on how price is moving. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see up there as well as down here. All right, so EU on the four looks like it's going to fill up the fair value gap for continuing its bullish push to take December highs. Okay. All right, so not too much. EU is looking to hit that daily uh, fair value gap for our order block and then reverse down to that daily fair value gap. Now, like I said, we do have some ranges tighter on that four hour, so we'll keep an eye on that. But that's it for the market review projections. Let's look at the news real quick. See where we're at on the news for next week. All right. So doesn't really matter to me. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. If you're in the euro area, you got a lot of news next week. You got your CPI and inflation and all that. Uh, so we got some speeches on Tuesday. Wow. Wednesday is news. Wow. It's going to be a crazy day. Starting at 530. 
We got the retail speech at six, industrial productions at six fifteen, then a speech at six thirty, then at seven we got business housing market, then we got a speech, then a speech or beige book. I don't know what that is. Um, wow. Net long term TIC flows, crude oil stock change, another speech, and then zero unemployment, which is way at night. So, volatility, this should be moving price around quite a bit this day, as well as for the, the EU um, with their CPI and inflation, wholesale, all that stuff. It, uh, it's going to make EU move around, so that might get us that juice we're looking for to start getting EU out of that chop. Okay, wow. Thursday as well. Building permits, housing permits, housing starts, jobless claims, speeches, stock change for oil, uh, speech, speech, speech. A busy Wednesday, Thursday. Price should be moving a lot next week. So be patient. Let price tell you what it's going to do and get in on these moves. Euro unemployment, speech, speech, unemployment, home sales, and another speech to end Friday. So lots to look out for next week. Make sure you're driving into this every single day before you get into the market so you know exactly what you're looking for and i put them in my daily live trading journaling so if we come here real quick uh do features tuesday you could see i added it in there if i copy it from from the um my effects books it automatically puts it in this chart for me. It has some extra columns I just delete because I don't care about it. I just want to know what it is. Is it high or medium and the time? And then I have to make sure it's, I know it's Pacific time because my trading charts are Eastern time. So that's really 9 o'clock on the charts and that's 10. That is it for the market review and projections. Next week is going to be a crazy week. And I'm ready for it. I'm ready for price to start moving. And our analysis from week to week are getting a little more spot on. So I'm excited. So again, I'm going to be doing these YouTube ones just for a couple more months. I just want to grow the channel a little bit before I just start making normal content. And then we're going to move these into the Discord server. So make sure you get in on that Discord server. Click that link below. It'll be that once you click that link, it'll be the first section. You'll get access or you'll get invited to the Discord server and you'll also be on that five day boot camp once we launch it, which is super exciting, completely free. You'll learn price flow in the markets with that workbook. So you get that habit down and you can start visualizing and seeing the statistics of what we're teaching you. So can't wait. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And 2023 is going to be a big year for all of us if we put in the work, grow together, and keep pushing forward. Have a good week of trading. Peace.